For this video, I'm going to show availability zones and how so adding virtual machines to them. So we create two virtual machines. And for availability options, you click availability zone. And it's within a as a region. So it's assigned to the first availability zone one. And we'll just create it. So availability zone is is like fault tolerance at a data center level instead of just at a server level like availability set does. And so just like availability set that doesn't protect app data, it doesn't sync it over. So availability zones are like if there's a natural disaster or some big event that impacts a data center in a region, you assign your virtual machines to two, dip, two or more availability zones. So then you provide fault tolerance for them in case one of the zones goes down. And so while this is being deployed, I'll create a second virtual machine. And one thing to note about the availability zones is when you're creating the virtual machines, if you put them in regions that are close to each other, uh, or well within the same region, Sorry, I don't know why I was talking about regions. I meant, uh, so Microsoft is soon going to start charging extra for doing availability zones of so transferring data or between the data centers. So that's known as bandwidth. Um, so they're going to start charging for that. So it's important to know that if you don't need to do availability zones, then not to do it. So anyway, for the second virtual machine, put in different availability zones. But they're not going to charge you for bandwidth if you put them in the same availability zone, only if they're different ones, because it's because there's the zones are spread out, so it costs more to transfer the data. And so they're going to put that charge on you. So anyway, we're creating a second virtual machine. First one's done. And while this one's being deployed, I'll go to the first one and show you where you can see that. So you can see in the first one, it's in availability zone one. And when the second one's done, then I'll show you that it's in the same availability zone. So the second one's done, and it's in a different availability zone as the first one. So now they're separate from each other, so now you have fault tolerance at a data center level with availability zones.